Let's talk about siblings. A favorite child versus an outcast child. When the first child is born, he is the favorite one. He is the first for parents. He is the first grandchild for both grandparents. Everybody loves him. Everybody do everything for this child. The parents want to be the best parents in the world. Grandparents compete for their grandchild's love. When the second child is born, the family members already know the routine. They are not as anxious as they were with the first child. They are more relaxed, they know what to do. And grandparents can give their love, can split their love, can divide their love between first and second child. So in this situation, the first child is no longer the only child. Now he has a brother or a sister. So the first child becomes jealous. Before I received all the love and now I have to share it. And I'm not the favorite anymore. The younger one is a baby. He needs more attention, he needs more love, and everybody is trying to, you know, jump around him. And the child, the first child, becomes jealous. The older child feels that his family do not love him anymore. And the older child is growing up and becomes either a bad one, he might uh, become a violent child, he's fighting, screaming, he does not follow the rules, so he wants to get parents' attention. Or it might be a, an opposite reaction. Uh, she might think that now I have to earn my parents' love, I cannot get my parents' love and attention just because um, I am their child. I have to do something to get their love. So a girl might become a nanny for a little one. She will be a good girl. She will decide that I'm going to be a good girl. I will do everything to help my mother and my father so they still can love me. And I have a video about good girl syndrome. Please check it out because the good girl syndrome is a very hard syndrome to, to realize, to see, and uh, to come out of this behavior pattern. Uh, so a lot of time the older child becomes more responsible. Uh, a good girl who used to babysit a child, she becomes more aware of the situation. She is um, she knows how to take care of uh, everybody. She is the one who develops the control mechanism. She wants to control everything, so she will control her feeling she will control her emotions in order to earn parents' love. And often uh, when such girl grows up, she falls into a relationship uh, which is toxic. Uh, she will fall into a relationship where she should earn her partner's love. She has to prove that she is worthy. Uh, actually, it's kind of the same what she did during the childhood. She was earning her parents' attention. She was proving that she is good enough for them to love her. And a lot of times, such girl might find a narcissistic husband, a violent husband, and she will, instead of leaving her husband, she will try to do everything to make to become a perfect wife for him to make this relationship work 